Here are some highlights from Cleon Skousen's lecture on J. Reuben Clark. And he makes a note here on Heber J. Grant. He had terrible handwriting and uh, baseball pitching skills, but really wanted to improve, so he repeated them so much they became very good at these things. Heber studied many fields, chemistry and so forth. Okay, and Clark became one of Grant's calculator, uh, counselors. All right, now for Clark. Uh, Clark was told by Grant he was called to lead the church to awake the church and nation to the jeopardy of the Constitution. He knew more about the Constitution than anyone else in the church. Church members were upset that he taught for the Constitution at conference, but it is established by God, as in DNC 98 and 101. Clark worked 14-hour days. He made time to be a great student. He was the head of his class. He said, don't go try to solve problems of other countries. We usually can't do it as well as they themselves can. His views matched those of the Founding Fathers. He broke the Sabbath, working to become a better lawyer on the Sabbath, and later repented of that. He says he was blessed in spite of it, not because of it, and called on members to keep it holy. He goes over a conspiracy that got the Federal Reserve System in. Um, the lecture does, anyway. It is prophesied that a generation will finally get it and do what God wants and what the country needs. He quoted from his earlier speeches years back in which his prophecies came to pass. And if I recall, he's talk, yeah, talking about Clark. Alright, so that's the end of my highlights from this lecture with Cleon Skousen highlighting the life of J. Reuben Clark.